Welcome back, guys. We're going into the palace. That assassin's just hanging out there, waiting for me to open the door. Yeah, enemies can't open doors, but... They know how to wait on the other side of doors. Here he comes. Ooh. I'm running away from him. Now what's he going to do? Throw a shuriken at me. See if I can hit him with a hammer when he comes around the corner. Direction to hit. Missed. Alright. Now it's going real slow. Pace. Eight. That's what I had it on before. Yeah, the game has... Uh, you can tell it what speed you want to play at. It's kind of a bit weird. It may have been to do with... Uh, if you're playing it on an older machine. Ooh, he's got me right in the corner here. I just gotta walk into him till he goes back. Alright. Just like in boxing, if they try and attack you when you're too close, then uh, it's no good. Alright, I killed the assassin. Now there's three guards hanging out there. On the other side of that door. Okay. There's no way around it, we have to go in. Maybe I can use the magic. Um, yeah, I'm going to use magic. Paralysis. Nothing happens. Why is nothing happening? Try again. Invoke magic. Nothing happens. Mm. I think I know why, you know... Nothing was happening because, uh, yeah, you've got to get your items blessed before they actually work. And to get your items blessed, you have to talk to a good monk. And we can't talk to the good monk because these guards are in the way. I suppose that's one of the other disadvantages of doing something that um, affects karma. You're actually ruining your ability to use magic as well. Okay. Now my body points have got low. You can see in this game you, the, the enemies gang up on you, or in this part of the game. And, uh, yeah, every battle counts because, uh, even though you win one fight, you still gotta last through three or four of them. Okay. We're getting through them. Night is falling. One of those night demons is probably going to attack me. Ooh, he's blocking me. Get back, get back, get back, get back. Okay. Get back, get back, get back, get back. Yeah. 
Ooh, double hit. But he goes down. I'm still standing. And we're going along. And here's the door to the cell. Now close this door. There we go. Now we're protected. There's the good monk. Help me. Yeah, he blesses my belongings, so now I'd be able to use the magic if I wanted to. Um, let's keep talking to him. He's got some magic words for us. I know he does. Learn these words. What's he going to tell us? Ag hif, ag cur, egg cur. I'm going to write this down in my secret. Um. Thing. Do 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 Yeah, the game makes you write it down. You can't you can't save it. It's not saved in the game. You have to write it down. Ag hif egg cur. Sickness shall flee from your body. Okay. Okay. So, I found the good monk. And... What's next? Let's wait till day comes. I guess what I should do is take him back to the shrine. If I look at my memory map. Um... Okay, so I have to go down this path, through the mountain pass, hopefully the monk won't fall off the cliff, and to the shrine. So yeah, in the, uh, time to follow me, um, at this point in the game, getting a monk to follow you across the map is a lot trickier because the map's a lot trickier. Hmm. Yeah, in the last episode I was saying, you know, I liberated the shrine, I killed the monk. The shrine's not liberated until you take the good monk back to the shrine. So the job's only half done. Ooh. Yeah, they get really vicious at this point in the game. Alright, he's dead. I survived that. I might need to use an elixir. My body points are getting pretty low. I'm not going to open those doors. I'm pretty sure there'd be guards inside them. Um, alright, let's go. He's a very slow walker, the monk. Okay, there's another one of the assassins. So he threw a shuriken and it hit the good monk. What I could have done is uh, told the monk to wait around the corner while I, um, you know, killed the assassin, then come back and gotten him. But no, I didn't do that. So the monk's been killed, and that means I have to go back. At least I've avenged his death. Alright, how are we doing on time? I'm going to have to stop the episode here. We're almost at the 10 minute mark. And we're stopping pretty much where we were in the last episode, but... This time, or next time, I'll be a little bit more careful and hopefully the monk will survive.